Hey everybody and welcome to my new Let's Play of Star Ruler. So, uh, let's get started. So, right now I've got it set up so that we're playing on the Spiral Galaxy, you know, how the map is shaped. I think I'll leave it at Spiral System Count. We're just going to leave it at 400. You know what? Actually, we'll play on a clustered uh, galaxy. Systems, yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, so our empire is the pink empire, and our traits are fast metabolism, food consume, consumption doubles, population growth doubles, uh, naturally depressed, doubles the amount of luxuries consumed by populations, society is capitalism, increased mining rate, slave labor, increased labor rate. Mentality, triple um, efficient, triple cargo hold, and AI paranoia. Yeah, cannot use computers or condom con computers. I've never had much use for them, so uh, that's why I'm just gonna turn them off. Background and technology, I didn't choose anything here. And okay, so playing against five AIs on easier because the AI on this game is incredibly good. Uh, mod, standard game. Pirate raids, yes. Uh, Remainants, yes. And that's it. Seed, let's put in some random number. Okay. There we go. Now let's press play and let's get this started. Okay, now we've loaded up. This is our galaxy made up of 4,000 stars inside little clusters. And this is our home planet. For now, I'm gonna pump out... Oh, I don't know. 20 scouts on one colony ship. Let's do that. Put my research set up. Research in this game is uh, pretty wide in the open. You you do kind of need it to uh, progress. It's very uh, it's very fluid. You uh, don't really research any uh, new tech upgrades or anything. You do get uh, new weapons and new things for the first few levels, but overall it's just, um, it's in the likes of Hearts of Iron 3 where it's just unlimited research. You can go and research as far as you like. You can go to a uh, level 1000 engineering if you really wanted to, and all it does is just buff up the modules. Modules are what you use to build your ships use them to build new ships. All of um, all of your spacecraft are actually built by you. You have a few like uh, pre-built here. I won't be using most of these. Oh, okay, so we have some remainments. Remainments are uh, it's an AI faction, not one of the main factions. Factions though, uh, they carry really good early early game stuff. If you can capture their ships, you get their blueprints and all of their goodies. It looks like we're almost surrounded by them actually. Okay, so I'm just surveying the planets inside my local solar system, finding some nice planets to uh, colonize. This here is the civil actions menu. All it does is uh, allow me to specialize my resource production. We have metals, electronic parts, and elect advanced parts. Metal goes into electronics, electronics go into advanced parts. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna use the AI governor for quite a bit of this let's play. It's just that uh, the AI tends to get out of control at one point and it's going to be a pain to manage 400 planets. Yeah. 
There we go. Metal mining world, that's fine with me. I'll leave it at that. Okay, so let's get a good survey of our uh, neighboring systems. Oh, look at that. Nice red star, 4 million HP. I can probably blow that star up and kill everything inside that system. Notice how this one has uh, HP inside the trillions, but this one only has it inside the millions. That means this is, well, it says right there, a stable star. Starting out, you'll notice um, how this little thing pops up. Now, this is what uh, you generally want to look for. Uh, pretty much all it tells me is the resources that the planet has on hand right now. Here, cargo, no cargo bay. Yeah. How the economy works in this game is that planets produce all three of the resources. Technically there's four. These uh, are these two are luxuries, general goods and luxuries, of course. And yeah, food. Food is to maintain your uh, population. The, these two are to boost the happiness of your planets. The happier your planets are, the faster than work. So all, all planets produce the three main minerals that we need and uh, most of them do produce food. I'm gonna launch out another mining ship because colony ship not mining ship because we can sustain it at the beginning of the game we want to watch out for our metal rate dropping too low and I'm gonna speed it up a bit. Okay so now it's growing again. I want this planet to be, no, not an economic world, but a research world. There we go. Now we'll put the AI governor on mining only, and remove one, and switch it out with a planetary cannon. This will ensure that we have a little bit of anti-pirate security for now. Put a planetary cannon on this one as well. Okay, so our resources are back on track, so I take off the metal mandate. How's our empire doing? We don't know. Launch another colony ship to colonize the last planet inside our system. Research rates buffed up because we had that new planet with all of those scientific laboratories. I think I'll make this one a general uh, planet. Colonize it, damn it. There we go. Balanced world. I'm fine with that. I'll leave it. Now we need to spread out. These three systems are obviously uh, already inhabited, so we will be bouncing to these two at first. Okay, let's see our position inside the universe. We are in a relatively safe location. We have all of this blank space right here to uh, protect us. Some early warning satellites and we will be uh, protected from that angle. Okay, there we go. We already have a scout in this system, yes? Yes, we do. Auto colonize system, five planets, and we'll launch two, two colony ships for now. Fast forward it so that uh, we can arrive there in a timely manner. Oh, and we have made contact with uh, two races. 
Okay, so we have the best economy of them, but we're lacking in the military and uh, colonization. Not a problem for now. Put uh, armor into our research so that we can get more plate, more HP per uh, plate. That'll be really useful. Two research wells. Oh, okay, I'm fine with that. Is economics up? No, we need economics to be uh, boosted up. Two more ships. Okay, hopefully that won't strain our economy too bad. We need an economic. Oh, pirate raid! Okay, that's not a problem. Oh, we will break out a couple of fighters to defend their planets. Okay, maybe it is a problem. Make a few cruisers. <laughs> These are research roads. Now you're gonna be uh, Pirates will eventually leave, they just uh, will raid your system for resources, so not a problem. You know what, this is a good opportunity to make a... make a defense satellite bl blueprint, show you guys the blueprint section. So we're gonna make a size 5, so that's five times, well, ten times the size of our fighter, and we're going to need DefSat. Layout view, we're going to get rid of all of this crap from the carrier, and build our defense satellite. So, bridge, crew, and life support. The three systems needed to support life and control the station. In reality, the layout doesn't really uh, mean much. I just like to make it pretty. Fuel cell. Uh, power generator for sure. Small power generator and a repair baby. So we don't die horribly in case anything goes wrong. Engines. Station. Who cares about engines? Plate armor. Slab of plate armor on top to protect the station. Guns. Rail guns. I'm gonna bunker down with four guns. Plate armor on top. Guns on the corners. Hmm, what else do we need? Ammo catch. Big ammo catch. Lots of bullets. Yeah, subsystems. Nothing much. We don't need any of that. Put on another slab of plate armor actually since uh, it's still early game. Plate armor isn't too effective, but it's decent. Slap on a solar 